Hi, Yarny friends. Mr. Pajamas here. I'm on a side quest, a secret, secret side quest. So Jude had me go out to film some, uh, some content for the ending video. So I, uh, she suggested I go down to Plymouth, which is where I am right now in Plymouth, Mass. And, uh, while I was down here, I figured I would try something experimental and I'm going to try and buy some surprise yarn for Jude. So I'm going to go into the little store we've been in before. It's a great little yarn store, uh, Plymouth Harbor Knits. And I'm going to try my best to get some yarn that Jude will like. And I'm going to try and surprise her later. I'm also going to give you a little tour of Plymouth. So I'm going to do a little walkabout, maybe shoot a little video here and there and see if I can uh, incorporate that into this. So anyway, let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, and hopefully Jude will be really surprised when I give her the yarn and you'll be along for the ride. I've actually never been up here to this little park. Gives a nice view of the uh, that's the Plymouth Rock Monument over there, and that's Plymouth Harbor. So let's go down to see the monument a little bit. That's it. That's Plymouth Rock. Normally the Mayflower 2 sits right out there, but it's not there. I'm not sure what they're doing to it. Here's more of Plymouth Harbor. You can actually walk all the way out to that jetty. You can see people, you might be able to see people out there already. All right, here we are on the other side of the construction, which is right behind me there. And we'll continue the walk along the, the uh, coast, the border, the harbor, the thingy. And give a nice view. Nice little park. Right over there is where the whale watch ships leave from. All right, here we are out on the pier. Here's all the whale watch business things. And if you ever get a chance to go to Wood Seafood, please do. It is, the food is incredible. There's usually a waiting list, a waiting line, and uh, yeah, just, if you can, it's really good.
Yeah, and here's where the yarn stores in this little village landing place, which has been around forever. I think it's over here. It's a cute little place though. Oh, there it is, Plymouth Harbor Knits. The back side of it. All right, here's the entrance. Let me see if they'll let me film inside. All right. All right, so I'm in Plymouth Harbor Knits, so they gave me permission to film. So let's go find some yarn for Jude. Mm. Look at all this yarn. I don't know if I should get her something new or something tried and true. I saw these earlier. Happy feet. Oh my god, this is so soft. Oops. And there's three, which she told me I should get her at least 300 yards, uh, 300 grams. So that's a possibility. Some happy feet. I'm gonna stick with the purples because I know she loves the purples. I'm sure she's yelling at the screen saying what she wants. Oops, excuse me. Hmm, that's really interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah, but what do they call it? That's like a mattress Dusty purple of this. Those. Maybe I'll get her more than one. She'd like this green too. That's really interesting too. Oh, no, Maybe I'll get her more than two things. Stop, do the thing, stop, do the thing. So that's the mattress stitch vertically. Then once your two sides are sewn up. This is really fun. This is a really fun yarn. But I only see two of them. Alright, so, no, before you do that, I'm going to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. So, on, on Saturday, I did what you dis discussed as far as I went to Plymouth 
But I also, I, I went to a uh, store and did a surprise for you. You did? <laughs> so I have a surprise for you that you are unaware of. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> yes, I did. So let me go get it. <laughs> Plymouth Harbor Knits. So I, I went out on my own and I went to Plymouth Harbor Knits. <laughs> you smell that? Yeah, Plymouth Harbor Knits. And I got you some yarn on my own. I made decisions. <laughs> Yarn decisions. One of them I know is good. One of them I was like, eh, but I like the color. And I stayed well within the bounds of colors that I know you would like. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be relatively boring. But <laughs> as far as it's it's colors that you could probably guess. But uh, um, yeah. So and I asked uh, and I asked the owner. I talked to the owner and she said I could film in there. So I was able to film in there me <laughs> selecting it. And they were having a... Uh, a knit class while I was doing that, like, like right next to me. Oh. So I went through. So anyway, I will give you, and I also made sure that I stayed to uh, 300 grams, three hanks, so uh -huh. you could make something with it. Good. So, all right. So here's the first. Okay. The first ones. Can I close my sure eyes? Can... Sure. I'll put them in llama vision. You can, or yeah, you can. You can Ooh. open your eyes. <gasps> Perfy. Ooh, cotton. Cotton sock yarn. Oh, it's pretty. It's purpy and blue. Oh, that's pretty. This might make a really nice something for like a for a summer thing. Oh, it's cascade yarns too. That's pretty. Oh, I didn't know you knew about them or anything. So. Yeah, we we had cascade yarns before. So let me show that. And then, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I thought the purple was really nice. It's purple and blue, like and purple the, and blue yeah, blurple. twist. We did blurple. We did blurple. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. Welcome. Now, the next one, I know you're going to The like. next one, I the got next, more? you got more. Oh. This is nice, though. I like the purple and blue twist. Yeah. I hope you get a good zoom in on that because you really have to see that close. Okay. Well, if I don't, I can take a picture yeah. of it and get a closer view Because that's that. really pretty, that purple and blue twist. All right, next one. Mm -hmm. Well, next and last. So okay. I only got I only got two things for you. Mm -hmm. I got one that I knew you'd like, and one was a, an mm -hmm. experiment. Ready? Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, pretty! <gasps> Malabrego. 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 Lavender. I've never even heard of this one. Is this new? I don't know. <gasps> I knew, I knew Malaburger. I was like, oh, oh, that is pretty. Oh, look at those purples. It's like a gray-ish yeah. hint to the purples, too. That is pretty. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. Oh, this came unhanked. Yo, well, that's okay. We can show it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, show, well, you oh. do. Show everybody. Show everybody how pretty it is. Oh, it's quite dark purple. Yeah, yeah it's really it's, it's not picking be, up the light yeah, well. it's going to be difficult. I'll just put it in the okay. llama vision laid out like that. There we go. That is pretty. It's like a gray, but like almost like a grige, gray beige, or gray, not grige, but, um, well, kind of. Kind of. It's like a brown, but yet a very gray brown. So, yeah. But oh, that purple! And can you smell that? And how long has this been sitting there? It's been like I got it on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, and it's been in the yarn store. And it for still a long smells. Time, so. It still smells very strong of um vinegar. That classic Malabrigo smell. Look at those purples, though. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't wait to get into my Malabrigo and add this to my Malabrigo collection, and then. Do something with them. Hopefully. Oh, it's so pretty. So. Look at all my prettiness. I'll, I'll have to see if I can. Uh, so this gives me the okay to, to get yarn in the future if I can continue uh -huh. with along this line. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> you did very well. They had Noro, but nothing in really purple. <laughs> yeah, well, Noro is a mix of colors. So. Yeah. No. But but you also know it doesn't have to always be purple. Either. I know. They had, they had other colors that were really nice. There was one that was... Well, you'll see it on the video because I show mm -hmm. what, what it was. But there was one that was kind of, it was purple gray, like a twisty. Mm -hmm. It had like light gray and dark purples. And it was, 
it was interesting. I almost, you'll probably say, oh, you should have got me that one. <laughs> <laughs> I will say you probably should have got all of them. Yeah, no, that's fair. <laughs> mm. That's a nice smell. It feels like yarn storm. I love it. Mm. Well, there you go. You can hang it. Okay. Well, I'll try. Well, there you go. I've never seen this colorway. I think this is a new colorway. I do have some of the purple mystery, mm -hmm. which is this very dark purple. Oh yeah, they still smell. I can smell it when I'm it. Mm -hmm. Extremely strong, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ta -da. Good job. Did a very good job. All righty. <laughs> So go to Plymouth Harbor Knits if you if you're in Plymouth. Go to Plymouth Harbor Knits. Yep, it's a must. It's a must if you're a yarny going to Plymouth. Yeah, they've got really good yarn selection there. Hi. So I was editing the video. I had my editing hat, you see, and uh, I noticed that there was no ending for it. So because we after after I surprised her with the yarn, we went right into the next video, and we didn't we did not end the uh, the clip that I was doing. So. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the journey and uh, had as much fun as I did. It was it was a blast to make, and it was a it was a joy to, to surprise Jude with that yarn. She seemed to really like it, and uh, I'm glad I stayed in the safe zone with colors and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and had a good time. And if you like this content, please give a thumbs up, and uh, and that's it. Bye, yarny friends. <laughs>